You know, sometimes in life, guys, if you make mistakes, you have to acknowledge them and you just have to move forward. And I just wanted to say that I was wrong about Bitcoin and it was definitely not easy for me to make this video. But I wanted to tell you guys that uh, I'm going long right now on Bitcoin. Hell no. Of course, I'm not going long. Why the fuck would I go long exactly at the top on Bitcoin right here, guys, around forty six thousand dollars? I am currently still short on Bitcoin. Nothing will change and I stick to my beliefs and I still believe that we will see a big pullback on Bitcoin. All right. So, guys, in this video, I will talk about my next price targets on Bitcoin. Like always, just give you my overall opinion. We just had yesterday another breakout to forty eight thousand dollars. And I just wanted to show you my positions that I'm running right now on Bitcoin and on some altcoins. That's basically the game plan. And just tell you what I'm doing right now with my money. This is obviously not financial advice. Do whatever the fuck you want with your money. I'm only telling you what I'm doing with my money. And that's basically it. So let's get into it. Let's not waste too much time. First of all, let me show you real quick my positions that I'm running right now. As you can see, guys, I was posting in my Discord server. By the way, it is currently closed. I'm not opening the Discord server. Like I'm not. Uh, I will not get access to everyone in the, uh, for the Discord over the next couple of weeks. I want to make it more private, more small, like smaller community, and this is why. Um, I'm only opening right now. I don't want to create some fucked up like limited access only th this amount of people will get access but like i said i want to keep it s s in a small circle and this is why i'm opening 20 spots right now for the discord if you want to join send me a dm with the first link down below in the description just send me a message with discord and then uh, the first 20 people get can get inside and then the rest have to wait for the next time until i open again basically here are all of my trades that i was calling guys as you can see i was taking a long position on tia then I was holding, I was updating everyone that I'm still holding TIA with 10k and unrealized losses. And right now this position is running with about $44,000 in profit. And then on top of my Bitcoin trade, guys, I opened a Bitcoin position right here. Like I had a short position opened right here. Then when we had this huge dump right here all the way down to like 40k i closed 50 percent of my position and right now my trade on Bitcoin, my short position on Bitcoin um is running with about six thousand dollars in unrealized losses around forty six thousand dollars right so yesterday we had a tweet from gary gensler or some like uh the guy that is uh, from the sec i believe and he was making a tweet with like 20 million impressions or something and this is uh, like after that bitcoin was running again and we had just another daily breakout to around forty seven thousand dollars right so basically, I believe what, what's happening right now is very simple, guys. You can call me whatever the fuck you want. You can say, bro, this guy has no clue what he's talking about. You're a clown. You're a this. You're a that. Look at my PL. Look at your PL. First thing. Second thing, I believe that this is only a front, like this is only a front runner. And I think they, they will just create exit liquidity. Maybe, maybe, maybe we will see another leg up. Maybe to like, I would say, $49,000, $50,000 or so, something right here, until the, uh, when the ATF is getting approved. And then we will basically just see another big dump right here down to about $30,000. This is, in my opinion, the most likely scenario that I'm looking at right now. Or otherwise, the ETF is just getting approved and we will see from here just a big crash all the way down to $30,000 or something. This is, in my opinion, right, my opinion, the most likely outcome. And yeah, about my uh, Bitcoin short, as you can see, guys, I'm still running my position over on Bing X with about $6,000 in unrealized losses right now. I already closed 50% of my position, like I said, in profit with about for about $7,000 in profit. And right now I'm running still with about $6,000 in unrealized losses. Like I said, I'm trading on Bing X. And on BitGet, if you also want to trade with me on the same exchanges as me, check the first and the second link down below in the description. Sign up, create a new account and get up to $30,000 in deposit bonuses and up to 30% in trading fee discounts. Definitely take advantage of that. Anyway, so guys, I want to I tell you something real quick. For all the haters out there who are telling me right now, bro, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know shit. You don't know. You don't do uh, like you don't know how to trade. You don't know how to make money in crypto. You're the worst uh, trader ever and shit like that. First of all, guys, I'm always transparent, right? I'm always showing you all of my position. I'm always completely 
honest with you if i'm making if i'm making money i'm telling you guys if i'm losing money i'm telling you right so basically my point is i'm not i'm not saying i'm not saying that this move right here was not a, like i was not expecting this move right here i was shorting around 30k right so when bitcoin was trading right here around 30k i was taking a short position i'm gonna be honest right and I was showing you my position and I lost on that position around $35,000 right here from $30,000 all the way up to like 44k. But all the way up right here since I lost, I was liquidated somewhere right here on this breakout, right? I was not like revenge trading or something. I was not shorting again and again and again. I was waiting until we go higher to my next potential short position. But you fucking dumb asses, you fucking retards don't fucking know what you're talking about. And you just want to tell me, bro, like you don't know how to trade, you don't know how to this, you don't know how to that. Anyway, so now I'm taking this next short position because it just makes sense in my opinion, right? That's it. Don't take it. If you don't want to, if you don't want to make money, just go long right now. Not financial advice, but if you really like, if you really that, if you really want to take the risk and go long right now at the top while everyone is talking about Bitcoin, go for it. Anyway, the second thing I want to mention real quick is, please tell me everyone how much money did you make from November 2021, right? From November 2021 when Bitcoin was at 70k, right, until. December 2022, like these 400 days right here, let's say one year when Bitcoin was in a bear market. Tell me how much fucking money did you make? I can tell you how much money I made, guys, because I was shorting all of that bullshit right here. I was shorting Solana, I was shorting AVEX, I was shorting all these layer one altcoins and all of that bullshit. I was shorting all of that and I was making a lot of money. And I didn't catch this move right here on Solana. I was not catching this move on Solana from $20 to $120. But you cannot catch anything in trading, guys. But you will understand that. Un Wait until you lose like $5,000, $10,000 and then you will get back to me. But anyway, just tell me how much money you made from uh, from 2021, right? End of 2021, when Bitcoin hit this previous all-time high. And I was actually taking profits right here. This is this is where I started my YouTube channel, by the way. And I was always already telling that this could be the top on Bitcoin. But anyway, fuck that. I don't want to even want to get credit for that. Right here, all the way down, guys. All the way down from $70,000 to $15,000. Tell me one influencer with 500, 600,000 followers on YouTube, subscribers on YouTube. I was looking and I was always seeing that every one of them on every fucking breakout, 40,000, we are back in a bull market. Buy now, DCA. Now is the best time to DCA. Just DCA and just wait, just wait. And now, now you fucking DCA, or DCA, 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 uh, DCA, DCA, all the way down to $15,000, $20,000 just to lose all of your money, not taking profits, right? And now Bitcoin is, go up, is going up and now they are getting praised like, bro, you're the best trader ever. Everyone is a good trader when everything goes up. It's always like that. That's easy to make money. It's easy to make money when everything goes up. But make money when everything goes down. This is the skill, guys, all right? Anyway, like I said, I don't want to get too much into it and too many details. I think Bitcoin will see another pullback. Maybe today, tomorrow, we will see already like one or two red uh, for our candles. And my overall target on Bitcoin is around thirty thousand dollars. Twenty-five thousand or twenty thousand dollars is still definitely in the game, and I think we are somewhere at the top right now. We they just basically create exit liquidity with the Bitcoin ETF. We are already in the window between the eighth of January until the tenth of January, and I think they should get the Bitcoin ETF approved. And after they get the Bitcoin ETF approved, they will just create a lot of exit liquidity, maybe another pump to like fifty k, and then everything will go down like i said maybe i'm wrong i hope i'm wrong not financial advice to whatever the fuck you want but this is my prediction peace